Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, a video of uh, Jure, that's me. Uh, I've got something really fun uh, in store uh, for today. I'm really excited about this one actually. Something uh, completely different than the Palace Zoo series I'm working on. And um, something different than I've seen in general uh, for now. It's more not really a zoo thing this, but it's a, it's a cool thing I thought. So yeah. It's going to be a pirate ship, yes, with the cannons. No, there's no cannons actually on it, but um, there is lots of wood and there's uh, all the trademarks of a pirate ship. So, uh, yes, I'm here starting on the front and there I already lost a bit of footage. <laughs> That's also a trademark of me, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I just built a mast and uh, the little thing in front that looks like teeth if you uh, have a big imagination. Um, Yes, so the Arctic pack was great for this. Uh, props to Frontier on the Arctic pack. I really like dark wood, and um, uh, this the ship is like almost completely Arctic pack. pack. Yes, stuff. So here's the hull, which is normally the hardest part of uh, making a ship like this in a game like this. Uh, and um, yes, I had some uh, some uh, challenges with it, but uh, in the end. I managed to uh, make it work. I also made a ship on Planet Coaster once, uh, a Viking ship, which was uh, like 25 times smaller. But I had a harder time with that one, so I'm happy, yes. Also, the great thing about these wooden pieces is that they're not on a grid. And that means you can do whatever you want with them, uh, with the axes and stuff, and change them about. Yes, a pirate ship. Now, this pirate ship uh, is a big one. It's a, like an old frigate. I think that's what the type of ship is called. It's big. And, uh, well, actually, did you know? Did you know that pirate ships were never this big, like the Black Pearl or something? They were, like, more, more often than not uh, just, like, little sloops. Uh, little uh, little ships, because, well, they were easy to uh, maintain. And they were fast, quick, versatile, and agile. And these ships weren't, so, yeah. That's, uh, that's for Disney ruining uh, history. <laughs> okay, so here I'm working on the captain's cabin and it's no interior interior work on the ship because well um, I have patience but not that much patience in this case. Uh, let's keep it just on the surface level shall we? Yes, okay So uh, uh, yeah L uh, Multiple levels of uh, height on the ship to keep it interesting to keep the depth in there and uh uh, yes, uh, so uh, but I'm, I'm actually gonna submit it to the Winter Sanctuary competition of Frontier because um, I'm really happy with the end result of this build and it is in the Arctic biome and it is a sanctuary for polar bears or any other animal that can swim, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's like nice and warm in there with the thresher and uh, all the crew, crew men are dead and gone, so... Ice bears, the polar bear, I should say. We say ice bear in, in Holland, but polar bears can live here uh, nice and warm in their 17th century ship. Isn't that great? Yeah, so here are the windows on the back, very, uh, very shippy windows. Yes, I wanted to use the palace ones or palace ones i'm so used to building palace, the, the round ones but those are only in limestone and there's no stone on this ship yeah so again here the arctic pillars are great for the ship and also for the barrier here um one thing i really would have wanted in this build was a mirror tool just build one side of the ship and mirror it to the other side but alas no not today Fonting, if you're listening again please uh, please edit so yeah a bit of detailing with the black bank and some rope and uh, wood stuff and now the mast so these are logs which is accurate because mast were also made out of wood um, and wood is made out of logs so uh, circle of life um, yeah lots of little knobs and things on the mast to make it look more complicated than it actually is now, I tried to be a bit accurate. I think I got the proportions roughly okay. But to make a full size replica of a ship like this, um, you need a, like a degree for that or something. Or you need to spend like four months in a, 
a 3D um, uh, sculpting pro program. I mean, which is Planet Coaster is, but not 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 for that stuff now. Uh, yeah, a little crow's nest here. I built them big, but then uh, they needed to be smaller. That's why they are smaller than I baked them. Ma baked them, made them. So yeah, starting on the rigging here. Nice rigging, lots of ropes, and um, the issue with this is that the minimal length for these ropes is two meters. So the higher up you go. And the smaller it gets, the harder it is to get these um, horizontal ropes in there. And that's why the top section doesn't have uh, horizontal ropes. Uh, because I couldn't think of a way to do that correctly. Now on the thumbnail and then also in the, in the cinematic shot, you may have seen that it is a, a wrecked ship. And not a full-sized working ship. Well, not working, but a complete slip like ship ship like this one and uh, that's because we need a ship before we can wreck it and that's why i'm building this now i'm also gonna upload this separately to the workshop because some of us do, do um, want a full ship and i can tell you already it actually works it does float in the game isn't that great yes i was nervous at first if it was gonna float but it, it did it didn't sink uh, until i wrecked it that is uh, yeah uh, just Put them some more barriers up here. It's starting to look piece by piece a bit more like an actual ship, and just uh, instead of just wood, lots of wood. And um, I don't know why I never did this in Planko. Well, we had a full size ship in Planko, but it looked a bit funny. It was a big galleon, and uh, this is a frigate. And I think frigates look a bit more cool. Uh, some more trim work here in the windows, and uh, more details. And now you can really see it starts getting into shape. Now, and also a thing that really reminds me of this ship are the ships in Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Now, that's a little MMO which like four people played in the world, but sadly they uh, cancelled it. They got it off the internet. And uh, which is sad. I really enjoyed that game. Lots of nostalgia for me. And um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that to get some memories flowing. Uh, oh, no, good times, good times. And now we have this game. Oh. What a pity. No, I, I like this game, yes. So, black sails. Pirates have black sails. Not all of them. Well, actually, none of them did, probably. Just uh, the black pearl, but they look looks badass, right? And I'm also going to add a black flag. Oh, yes. That's uh, uh, to keep it very original. Um, some more rigging and ropes to make it look complicated, even though... Uh, it has serves no purpose, so uh, yeah, that's that. Also, I don't like working with ropes; it's a uh, it's a bit of a hassle. Also, all these ropes are gonna disappear in a bit when I wreck it because the ropes aren't like so uh, tight when you when you wreck it on an iceberg. But yeah, uh, more railings here. Oh yeah, this is the thing. I'm building the thing here where the people walk around to uh, raise the anchor up or to drop it. Um, as you may have seen in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean or other classics uh, such as Captain... Uh, what's his name? The one for Peter Pan. I don't know. But yeah, he also has an anchor. And it's also from Sea of Thieves if you played that. They, uh, actually, all ships have one of those, the big ships. Yeah. Um, here's the pirate flag. Now it's a pirate flag, now it's black. Yeah. So more wood uh, because it looks uh, reasonable to place that there. And uh, here I'm decorating the back end of the ship. And some more round bits on the top of the mast. To uh, make it uh, in the integrity of the ship uh, plausible. And a little crow's nest up there. Even though no one can climb there. But yeah, here's the rudder. Is that the word? No. The wheel is the rudder on the back of the ship. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some stairs. More railings. More ship things. I also wanted there to be a bell. But the Asian bell is way too big. And... I didn't feel like making a fake one out of uh, basic ships. Oh, the, these lamps are great. They fit the ship very well. So more trim work on the sides for that detail, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why you would need a ship like this. Um, maybe as a viewing platform. But yeah, that's that's it for the ship itself almost. Uh, yeah, so that's it, yeah. Um, here's some shots of it in, uh, in some uh, good footage. Yeah. Don't go, though. We have more footage coming up.
I'm, I'm glad you stayed, glad you stayed. Now, uh, here, we're continuing with the build. And uh, I'm an idiot, so I forgot uh, my uh, to clear my hard drive. And there was only uh, 200 MB left, so I only recorded one minute of, uh, like... Three hours of recording, so isn't that nice? Classic me. Um, yeah, um, it's wrecked on the ships. Well, you see it in a bit on the cinematic. It looks very cool, uh, if I may say so. Uh, um, really happy with the end result. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, bye.